What's up guys, my name is Revire Storm and welcome to another RPG Maker MV tutorial. This time we're going to talk about bridge switches. Now you'll see here we have three switches here. Well we're going to have three different methods of how to make a bridge switch. Now let's get on to it. Now the first normal thing to do here is to make our events that don't allow the switches. So for these top bridges here, we need to have them to their very own switch, which is going to be called Up Bridge. And appropriately, all the other bridges are going to be named Right Bridge, Down Bridge, and Left Bridge. Well, bridges, just so you know, bridges that are together like this have to be on the same switch, so that's just something that I gotta point out. And we're going to have a little reward once you get to the end of the bridge. Now let's get into talking about our switches. Now our first switch is gonna be strange. It's gonna be a random switch. So it's gonna control a variable, which we call appropriately RNG. You're gonna have a random set number from one to four because, well, there are four bridges. And we're gonna play a switch sound effect. Now when RNG is equal to one, it'll turn on the top bridge. RNG equals when RNG equals 2, it turns on the right bridge, yada yada, it keeps going. However, you also have to make it so that all the other bridges besides the bridge that's being turned on are turned off. That's just something to note here. Uh, we're going to be demonstrating this in a bit, but we're going to go over the next switches first. Our, our second switch is kind of... well, I guess they're all kind of strange. This switch revolves around... Uh... Ordinal switch bridge bridge switching. Um, so that's why we have this auto run event here. It'll control the variable so that RNG is equal to one. Now this is basically only important for this switch specifically. Now if RNG equals one, well since it's the beginning, it's not gonna have a bridge switch on. You can make it if if, if you want to start off with this bridge on, then you can. You just, you'll just have to turn off the switch in that specific event. If RNG's RNG one is on turn on the right bridge and turn off all the other bridges but then you have to set RNG equal to 2 so that RNG equals 2 makes sense with this right bridge here and you can repeat the process for all the other ones and once you keep hitting the switch you should have a full loop going on now finally let's talk about our blue switch here honestly this switch probably the easiest you just input a number for RNG using the input number event command one digit obviously anything from five to five to nine and zero of course won't really do anything unless you want to set it to zero go ahead but basically this, this is essentially the same thing as the red switch this is just well you can choose which direction the bridge goes basically now we're going to demonstrate it right now all right we're gonna go into our game here now as we said about the red switch, the red switch, uh, well, it chooses, it chooses a random bridge to pull up. So if we just keep hitting it, you'll see that it chooses a really random bridge. And you, you'll see that we'll be able to cross it. And once we open this chest, we'll get a zero, zero, zero gold. Uh, well, maybe the, maybe the other ones will have, will give uh, better luck. So if we hit this switch, you'll see that it loops around as intended. Now let's see what happens when we open this chest. It's uh, it's also zero dollars, zero gold. Uh, let's, let's go to this one. Uh, we'll, we'll set it to uh, one for the top switch. Now we're gonna open this chest and we're gonna get another zero dollars. Well, clearly the other one's gonna have a uh, 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 something in there, right? Nope, it's it's just it's just zero dollars. Okay. That's that. That's fine. Uh, we didn't need money anyway. We're not gonna. We're not gonna be getting out of this. Uh, this patch of sand anytime soon. We're we're trapped here in this oasis. That's unfortunate. This is a super simple tutorial, but that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, to be honest, I, I I don't have. I still don't have any more ideas for tutorials. I need ideas. Hopefully within my my uh. Hopefully something I can do, but I need ideas. But next week is not going to be tutorial. Next week is going to be another dev update. One we're actually talking it. Because last time it was just a title screen thing. I, I liked it. I mean, 
I might I'm, I think I forgot to put inspiration in. I should probably do that really soon. But uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. See you guys, and stay safe.